what do you expect from that match? I expect only great things, to be honest. As always, it's going to be fun. It's going to, yeah, there's going to be some nice results. Definitely, I'm not saying if these are going to be from my side or from his, but uh, definitely some nice results to, to be expected. So, yeah. Well, I, I it's a, yeah, currently I'm, my, I'm, uh, I'm just looking forward to get finally out, um, out of quarantine again. Okay. So uh, this time I'm, I think I'm, I'm a bit more, so kind of, other times, sometimes I'm more like I really want some good results, but today I'm I'm more like <laughs> let's just have fun and see okay. how it goes. Different kind of expectations from our two contestants here in the second quarterfinal of Memory League Season 12 between Sylvain Avidur from France and Bastian Wiederholt from Germany, still calling himself here Bruce W as he did in the past and they started with words here and that was chosen by Sylvain so of course if you choose a discipline you should try to win it especially if it's the first one and in the end Bastian was a bit faster here in the memorization but as you all know in words it doesn't matter so much most of the time because you need more words correct and Bastian started typing immediately, almost immediately, and very fast, while Sylvain was thinking first about his words, which he had already memorized. But that's a yeah, common strategy to review everything first. And while Bastian is already approaching 45 here, Sylvain is up to 31. But he needs, if he can fix all the other ones, he will be able to win that game here, that first game. But there was a mistake, a swap of two images, which costs you two words here in the end. So a swap of two words. And that means that it's very tough for him to get up to 45 here. And in the end, he will not figure it out. He goes up to 39, which is also a good result, but not enough here. And that means 1-0 down for Sylvain. But it might be a very long match, so nothing happened yet. So 1-0 for Bastian, and they choose images, uh, names. Bastian choose names. And I fast forward the recall here a bit. You see Bastian with a very, very, very good result. You're already 21. Sylvain still in striking distance with 16, but he would have to fill all the gaps here. And Bastian is quite strong on names, and you see that also here that 23 and in in a second 24 right now that is a win for bastian here which means we have already a 2-0 lead for bastian now the chance for sylvain to turn things back to normal here choosing images and he is uh, yeah one of the strongest athletes in images right now on memory league um especially in terms of times here and uh, let's see how fast they go. Bastian sees two images at a time here, while Salon just sees one, but they are quite similar on speed here. And in the end, Bastian stopped the time at 13.98, just not even half a second faster than Sylvain here. But that means if Bastian can figure it out, he would win it and has a 3-0 lead here. But he had a bit of trouble here in the end. But Sylvain was also kind of troubling here. And four images are wrong here for Bastian. But he was thinking about it, putting it out again, putting it in again. And now he is up to 30. And he kept it for the end, until the end here. And that meant a 3 0 lead here for him already. And yeah, Sylvain was suffering also in the past from. Higher defeats here, and it looked like that it might go fast again here. 3-0 down already, and still a chance, of course, but you need six points to win that. So yeah, there is time, but yeah, it will be a hard time right now for Sylvain to get back into the match here. And then they went for cards here. And in cards, yeah, both are quite strong in cards, almost similar times here at as their best times and 
That was also the case for the first run here. Bastian, two seconds faster, almost two seconds, and Sylvain with a 19.02. The recall. And that means if Bastian gets that done, we are already here 4 0 down. But it comes different than we thought. So the first cards, everything correct here for both competitors. But then, both seem to come into big trouble here. We we'll fast forward a bit. So for Sylvain, looks good so far. But now, everything starts to be red here. Also for Bastian and. They both were struggling getting 52 cards done here. And Sylvain here right now up to 33. And in the end, that was a win here for Sylvain with only 33 cards to 28 by Bastian. But yeah, sometimes you need that kind of match, that kind of game to come back here. Only 3-1 now. Then names again. And that was a choice by Sylvain here. He chose national names, was a bit slower here, but still a chance to beat Bastian here with a better score, of course. So, yeah, it was a bit up and down here. We are fast forwarding again here a bit. So, 27 26 here at this point, meaning Sylvain winning it when two minutes before the time stops, but now Bastian up to 27. And that's 27-27 would mean that Bastian gets the next point here because he was a bit faster. So Sylvain would need now one more name to get a win here out of that game. 27-27. Can he find something? Some spellings here. Nothing huge, but still not enough. Can he pull out one more name here? And here we go. 28 for Sylvain right now. And 29, wow, what a nice performance here in the end. And down to 28, so he made it very, very exciting for us to watch here. That would mean that Bastian just needs one more name here to get back, but with 10 seconds left here, jumping to the end, Bastian still needs one name. Can he fill it and have a 4-1 lead? Or is that the 2-3 from Silvong's perspective? And it was like that. Congrats, Sylvain winning two games in a row here. Only 3-2 for Bastian. And next discipline then chosen by Bastian Images again. And in the first attempt, they both went for a quite a uh, very fast time here. And this time, what would happen here? Sylvain on a good track here, but Bastian a bit faster. In the end, Bastian stopped the time at 15.4, but is shaking his head immediately and Sylvain playing it strategically here going for 60 seconds hoping for a mistake from Bastian to draw the match here that's of course of course possible here and that's what memory league is all so all about and meanwhile Bastian was looking good in the beginning the last row looks messy and maybe that was the reason why he was shaking his head here. The last eight images are quite a mess here in the end. And he cannot fix that. No chance here for him. And that means this is the draw. Three games in a row by Sylvain. Drawing the match. But still, of course, not done yet. More games to come. And since they haven't played numbers yet, it's time to play numbers. You see on the upper part here, these blue blue dots here next to their names, meaning that they both didn't choose numbers yet. So Sylvain with a three digit system, Bastian also, but Bastian seeing six at a time while Sylvain is seeing three at a time. So who goes faster here? Can Sylvain maybe win the fourth game in a row here and taking the lead against Bastian both not? With a super fast time here, taking their time. And in the end, Sylvain stopping the clock just a bit a, more than one second faster than Bastian. Meaning 80 digits for Sylvain would give him point number four. And if you look on the top 10 here from Bose, you see for Bose it's not a top 10 score. But Bastian had everything correct. 80 digits done. Delon still trying to figure out his gaps here with his nice strategy. He's just counting up the 
Surge numbers at 3 2. Now he's up to 12, 2 5, 2 6, 2 7, 2 8, 2 9. Can he get that? And 3 1, 3 2. He gets the first gap. Can he get another gap if he is capable of going up that far? I mean, going up to 2 6 2 is possible. 0 3. Zero four. Can he find it? Sometimes you just skip it and you can't find it. Zero six. Zero seven. He needs a two six here. Two minutes to go. Zero nine. He needs that point. Bastian already done. Bastian already in the chat here. And oh man, that's so close as it gets. I can't watch that. Bastian in the chat here. One four. One five. One six. One seven. Still time. One eight. Can he find that gap here? 2 0, 2 1, 2 6. And that's it, Sylvain finding that gap. What a nice fix here from Sylvain. Getting it done. What a nice save here. And nice, nice attempt on numbers. Winning that point 4 3. And true story, but we as the commentators were not the only one who were surprised about that save. Even Sylvain was shocked about getting 80 here. Yeah, and usually, yeah, you, sometimes you just don't get it at this uh, situations, but in that situations, but he did. And the next discipline, again, numbers, two times numbers in a row. The question is, did that affect already Bastian here? He lost four games in a row after a 3-0 lead and now giving it away to four games to Sylvain here, who was very strong in the last ones and strategically playing very very well so who was going faster in that attempt here bastian with 22 seconds what is Sylvain doing here he's going for 60 what a nice move again here from him strategically wise but it has to pay out so if bastian gets his 80 done it will not help Sylvain. and in the end it was more or less a recall challenge here let's take a look on that recall here from both both uh very very fast recalling here Sylvain of course with 60 seconds quite a easier one to recall but both going very fast here in the end and the question was just can Bastian get his 80 digits done while Sylvain is needs to get 80 digits waiting for a mistake and but it looked very good here and Bastian with some typos here and there in the end, closing in here, who finished first the 80 digits? So Wong, 79, 80 digits, and that's it. And they kept it until the end, so 4-4. Four, four. And it was clear that we will see cards and words next, no matter what happens. But if one competitor wins the next two games, that competitor, this competitor will win the match and advances to the semifinal. So Bastian with a faster time here. Remember, the first cards attempt was a mess for both of them. Bastian won the first one. No, Sylvain won the first one with just a bit more than 30 cards here. Let's see if they can improve on that one here. And I fast forward that too here because it <laughs> looked funny again here. They started quite nice, but then everything started to be a red here. Both sides. Sylvain just has to shift something here. But yeah, look at this. Now Bastian leading here with 20 cards. 2 minutes 30. Both seem to struggle a lot here. And even if Sylvain would move these cards here, it doesn't mean that he gets everything correct. So that is not a perfect deck yet here. Dorf definitely looking better on Sylvain's side. Could Bastian get something else here? 45 now for Sylvain. Still not a perfect deck. And in the end, he wins that game with not a perfect deck again. 47 to 30 cards in the end. So we need a decision on words. And that is maybe the last discipline. But that would mean that Sylvain needs to win that to win the match. Match point for Sylvain. Both going through the words here. Bastian was going faster here in that last words attempt and that means if the score would be a draw then Bastian would win that game and forcing overtime here because you need a two games lead in this kind of matches. 
And in the recall, it looked super good for Bastian here. 48, this is a huge score. But Sylvain was just one wrong word so far. So if he could get all the other words green here, he would win it with 49 to 48. But it was just a typo here. So we were all staring at the words here, green. And another one green, 47, needing two more words, 48 and 49. Now he has to keep it until the end to win that match here with a super nice 49 to 48. And Bastian with just a tiny mistake here in the end. But would that be enough for Sylvain? We have seen a lot of last minute swaps here in Memory League, but this time Sylvain kept it, winning the match. 6-4 after being down 3-0. Congrats Sylvain Avidieu from France for advancing to the semi-finals. Good. Uh, congratulations Sylvain. What do you think? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I uh, wasn't quite expecting to, to be winning the, this game, to, to be perfectly honest. Uh, yeah, I, I got really lucky, like on the cards games. Because uh, yeah, the, the actual scores like of the cards games don't really reflect maybe the performance of the actual like memorization. Like, so yeah, uh, I think I had a lot of luck uh, today. Uh, so sorry, <laughs> Bastian. Uh, no worries, well done. Yeah.